Big Love is all about creativity of different types. And uh, we've had a strong tradition of poetry in our 12 years since we've been going. And uh, we're going to continue that tonight. So I want you to give him a massive round of applause and then be really quiet for Matt Jacobson. Come on! Hello everyone, um, I haven't got a guitar, I haven't got a voice, so I find my singing. Um, I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, cheers, love. Save the shandy, love. Um, I've been fucking work hard just from uh, Liverpool and I've, I've travelled around and all that. Last week it was on BBC Radio Sheffield, because I told, I told BBC Radio Sheffield that I was. What? I was sure. Um, so, um, I thought BBC Radio Sheffield because I told them I was huge in Germany. I never been there, so never, never mind. So anyway, is anyone, anyone here from here, Liverpool? Yeah. Does anyone know Norris Green? Yeah. Right, this poem. I was born, raised, and raised in Norris Green. No, I wasn't. I was born, raised, and raised in Norris Green. No, I was born, raised, and raised in Norris Green. So this is all for the Noggadogs. It's called Noxie. There's poetry in the pavements of North Street, and those pavements belong to the people in their unraveled unity and community. Pavements upon pavements upon pavements upon fucking pavements provide scenes of dreams safely scored for one heart. What? Pardon? Carry on, bro. Fucking hell. Have a shandy, lad. These pavements are at times difficult to maintain, and just like life, they made us the train become jagged. Paper stars become uneven paved stops and crass, and also they become broken paved stops. Erosion can challenge the soul, but it's a challenge accept us, no matter the damage, not a screen, pavement stars will still remain poetic pathways and rhyming runways, making you a note from you to rip the world outside. North Green to many is a hard kidney to live of Liverpool, as those surrounding the area sweetly set made and function at the arms, hips, legs and elbows, all working and functioning in union to perfection. Streets still display useful schemes and plenty of discarded dreams, but it's a blessing of beautiful people pass with grit and wholehearted working class determination to succeed. Not as green as historic places and poetry places amongst this wholesome community. The white wonky van that sold crisp pens and twenty number tens, videos, cassettes and food for your pets. Never, ever underestimate what that meant. A shop on three wheels and a poetic pavement. It's also a gathering of a place of invaluable chat and a voluptuous three-day debate on council estate. Broadway Bridge, or Broadway has its two infamous roundabouts formed like two colliding planets planted, planted precisely on the earth to ensure we all stole in our first, second and third driving lesson. Broadway bats brought up between to many, with many lifeguards also being asked, could you guard us from life? And just peeking down below with monitoring the activity of Broadway Bridge, Unusual, unsure, and same. A window of the past, but certainly a picture of the promise and potential. Tate Series of Social Club and the Green Pepper Social Club honour the Brazilian events as locals, struck with locals and their families. They form French Tavern of Rennes, all amongst their nearby Echo and Bunny Men Drive. The historic conundrum and factual fishing game show centred around the statement that there was a time when there was no pubs in North Stream. I still don't know if that's true, but I guess they asked 10 people and received 2,000 answers. The Peter State wasn't great, a tough fate for many, so let's leave it there. In a forum and out of forum caused junior school debate at the, at the, at the whole school class wanted to shake it all about the forum. And bookmakers on every street corner confused all by never making books. The lengthy Lorenzo Drive sounded like it was a case for the, for the FBI, but the Super Leo supermarket nearby bought heaven clothes who would need everything. Starfield Avenue and Scarborough Avenue are, are two arms stretched out wide, keeping the east banks and the west of your bay. Scarborough Avenue was a home for shops, and back in the day, Bobby's and Chandler's were hosts for those with torch, chat, and lots to say. Scott Greenfield brought a basketball game to those who didn't have a fucking clue what basketball was. But it was neat and it was a sport and tattered ball. Cotsbrook Road carefully cares for the collective and Braybrook Road has a way to keep things at bay. Strawberry Road is sweet and secure and Norris Green parked in a river small. Norris Green is ours and it's yours. Let's build it up, not knock it down. Say hello to it or goodbye to it. Either way, just fucking love it. Thank you.
Um, this next, this next uh, story show from um, basically my man passed away a few years ago when I had a bit of a wobble and all that, you know, as you do. And uh, I went to a sudden this beach and blah blah blah, and I was just questioning Mother Nature and, and the death of my own mother. And I went home and um, I went to the off license and I thought, oh, I'll get some cans in, you know, so I got a bottle of wine, four cans. As I walked out, I thought, you know what, I'll get two bottles of wine and eight cans. So I went back in, obviously got them, went home, and I got home about like seven o'clock, and um, I watched the like, channel where BBC One, two, three, and four, and by then it was half nine, right? And I thought, and I don't think you're there, but you're not there. So I thought, okay, so, but I went four, three, two, one, and then I looked at the clock, it was dead on midnight. It was dead on midnight, because of what I watch, incidentally, um, sort of like connected with each other, and it snapped me out of me this phase. So, this one's called Saturday Night Television. Saturday Night Television is fucking shite. No, <laughs> there's four lines that pull, fuck it. Right, this next one, um, I was on a, that was the most important, by the way. Was, was, <laughs> I'd like a dedication to my beautiful partner and my future wife, Gemma. I don't mind, I don't mind dedicating this one, but I love you, babe. Um, basically, I went to. Show on Right? I love <laughs> um, that This last one, um, I went to. My friend friends said to me, come meet me and you know, have, a, have a. I'll go for a, a beer, some food, do some shopping. So we, we went down there, took some food, food, some shopping, and then that was it. Like, you know, so we got, we got pissed in the pub, didn't wear any beers or any shopping. This one's called 50 Mac. I got back on the train to come home, and it was called, so it was like 55 minutes before I got home. But I looked up, I was pissed at about half six, and I looked up, there loads of characters on the train, so this one's called I'm Dead Clever. 55 minutes. 55 minutes in the mystery chair, 55 minutes. <laughs> 55 minutes of beaming. Okay. Right? I'm just saying it's not 50. Well, don't say. Uh, 55 minutes of the mystery I chair. 50 say. <laughs> 55 minutes of listening to some people talking shit. 55. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Listen. We can hear you. Yeah, man. Give me a fight in the car park soon. 55 minutes of the mystery chair, 55 people, minutes of moving here today, 55 minutes of beaming camps lights, 55 minutes of gleaming northern sights. The train to buy with passion, zest, and dash and desire. We fly past houses and had shoes, hanging on telephone wire. It's a page by page, flicker book filled with pieces of the north. It's a pot of the earth filled with bits of northern wall. 55 minutes of this just George, jumping old queens and rails. 55 minutes of doubt and pain, increase all it fills. Time stops as a drunken man slides down the walls. Part of me dies with the smell of his overalls. Workers finish work but taking home and dust and chemicals. As a teenager shouts down the phone, taking all things to festivals. 55 minutes of steel shoes on a hardened wall, carriage floor. 55 minutes of a mass steam in a corridor. 55 minutes on the reel and moving revels passing down. 55 minutes of a broken left me fucking lean on my fucking arm. I bought these youngest in a grist, my streams, I am not scared. I held us in a tiger mask, confused all, but that's hissing to lack of parents. The moment I'd seen out and prayed for peace in each existence, that is the chair in front of him, lacking control and resistance. 55 minutes of groups talking about Becky's skirt and it's a baseball fit. 55 minutes of Becky debating but not giving a fucking shit. 55 minutes of group talking love, loss, TV and death. 55 minutes of taking talking so fast, everyone has a breath. The gentle elderly couple to watch, smile, hug and hold hands. Lovely yet healthy roam around them, they want some of their plans. At a time they like when they can't see, but you can say they've seen it all before. They've got love for each other and so much more. 55 minutes of a man singing songs in his shirt, only described as fucking himself. 55 minutes of a group of Dave Jefferson. Handing out gym and sonic. 55 minutes of making up laid down with table with a big hair and rolling in. 
55 minutes of competing fake high to get them in. The stations flash by and it's time to stand up and leave. But the guy next to me is still sitting on my fucking sleeve. It's a challenge accepted, but what a way to end the train reality show. But in a strange, 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 strange way. I'm really sad to see how go. Thank you. Well, <laughs> there you go. What I could tell about to do with hackers. <laughs>